Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you some items I got in from AR Nail Supply. Kathy graciously sent these products to me. I wanted to share them with you. Do a little watch me work demo at the end of this video. So stick around for that but first of all I just wanted to apologize for not being able to get weekly videos up lately. I actually went through a really trying time Time, and I'm gonna try not to <laughs> cry here where I lost my cat of 15 years she was almost 16 years old and I lost her last week it was a sudden passing so a little bit harder to deal with I knew sooner or later she would go because cats don't last forever but I had been gone all day babysitting my little grandbabies and I came home late and she wasn't feeling well and it was too late for a vet and when I woke up in the morning she had already passed so it's just taken some time to grieve and mourn I've never experienced these emotions before I've never lost a pet before so I'm trying to navigate my way through these emotions and I'm just not too sure what to do and in all of that I've kind of lost motivation to do my weekly routine of producing videos for you so I will do a set of nails at the end of this video in honor of her so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take off my magic gel nails that I showed you how I did last or two weeks ago and I'm gonna do a design similar to this so same coloring same design I'm just gonna do a different shape on my left hand but before we get into that I want to show you everything that Kathy from AR Nail Supply sent me she sent me these print by example water decals I was not expecting these and I was so thrilled to get them and so she sent me some little butterflies. I thought these were gnomes and I think they're called gonks. <laughs> I've never heard that before, but some really nice water decals, great for spring, some summer ones, the sunflower and the beads for summertime, floral water decals here, just really, really nice. I haven't used these yet. I love this one. This one's going to be great in the fall, the leopard print hearts. And this one happens to be my favorite, the giraffes. This one just brightened my day. When I saw this, I just smiled because my cat used to sit up like that, just all perky and sitting up like yeah I'm here I'm here <laughs> so that one was that's what the giraffe one reminded me of Kathy also sent some crystal parade crystals and I have to say I'm gonna do a spoiler alert for you guys I am gonna use some of these in the demo at the end of this video I love these so the first one is called a coral mix so lots of nice coral mixes a <laughs> great name for this and some pointed backs flat backs there's some matte orange crystals in here so everything you would need to create a really nice design on your set of nails pina colada crystals and this is a nice mix of what is that like a peridot green clear some teardrops and some seashells so really nice for summer this little packet is and the next one is blush and this has got some magenta pink some garnet red a pointed back teardrop pointed back flat back some pointed back squares again a really nice mix and something that you know you could just pick and choose what you want on your nail to create a really nice design and the last one is frozen and this is the one I'm going to use on my design I love these larger pointed back crystals it is like an aqua blue and I'm struggling to tip it over here so you guys can see the color of it but very similar to the like the turquoise green or blue that we're seeing in this picture here actually it's more blue isn't it so a little bit of pink magenta and also some peach in here 
Then I was sent some painted desert tips. Some of you have asked what I think of these tips. These are like the Opre full color coverage tips. Ugly Duckling has full coverage tips. So I'm gonna do some comparisons here. You might wanna stop the video so you can actually see. It's gonna be hard to see, but I'm doing, I did my best. <laughs> of doing the comparisons here and painted desert coffin it's a medium coffin number two in comparison to the opera medium coffin number two which is smaller but the zero in opera is a little bit more comparable to the two so the sizing is completely different and the painted desert on the left has a flatter c curve and the opera has more of a c curve medium almond 500 pieces in this box Okay, so here's a closer look at the almond and I chose a number two and next to the Opre medium almond number two, the Opre is a little bit pointier. And with a side view, you can tell that the Opre's got a little bit more of an apex than the Painted Desert. And then the last box Kathy sent was the extra large stiletto and this one only has 240 pieces in it as opposed to 500 that the other two had. So I'm doing some comparisons here with Wildflowers stiletto number two which is not as long and then the tippies from ugly duckling is also not as long and a little bit narrower and the side view here you get to see what the apex is like this is probably where you want to stop and actually get a magnifying glass and take a close look <laughs> Okay, and just before we get on with the tutorial, I want to give you an update with the Ultimate Starter Kit from Magic Gel. You guys, I love the starter kit. The Ultra Silk, the Diamond Fiber, and the Acro Gel. Holy cow, there's no lifting with any of those products. They were nice and strong, durable. I didn't lose my shape. So I am quite impressed and I think I'm going to stock up on some more of those products. So just sit back and if I have anything interesting to say here with this demo, I'll pop back on and babble away. <laughs> As for prep and what bits I'm using, I nothing's changed from previous Watch Me Work, so check some of those videos out and for a more detailed description of what I use for removal or for cuticle prep or anything like that. I want to try to get as much of the product off as possible because I am applying a tip on the whole nail so I don't want it bulkier than it needs to be. I do leave a little bit of a layer of product on just to protect my natural nail and you're gonna see on my middle finger there is a red line towards the top. <laughs> it's not from over filing, it's not a ring of fire. I had actually cracked my nail, uh, how did I do it? I think I went to put something in the garbage under the sink and my hand just sort of swiped the sink that's under the countertop and it cracked and I was wearing one step and I know better than to wear one step because it's way too rigid for my nails. And yeah, it just cracked all the way through to my natural nail. So that's what I get for trying to use product up and not letting anything go to waste. <laughs> Okay, this bit is new from Light Elegance. When Light Elegance released their new bits, I think it was last year, late last year or sometime last year, I just finally got this in and I have to say I absolutely love it. So next I'm gonna go in with Opre. This is the tip prep. So if you don't have this, you don't have to use it. You can just etch the inside of the tips, but I really like using the tip primer because it's just, it's less work, less dust. 
getting around and just it does what it's supposed to do okay so I did prime my nails with an acid primer I'm going in with the silicone thin base from magic gel and I'm just applying a thin layer down and then curing for 60 seconds next I'm gonna go in with the clear base from the nail guard system and putting a thin layer down and I'm not curing that I will put a little bit of the clear builder on the inside of the nail tip butt it up against my cuticle and press the product until I see it come past my free edge then I will cure in my LED lamp for about 60 seconds and here I'm doing the same thing on the rest of my fingers so I'll just let you sit back and watch I think I only filmed one finger because you know it'll just be kind of boring to see this five times <laughs> Then after all the tips have been applied, I will go around to see if there was any leakage in the side. And I didn't really have a lot, just on a couple of fingers. So I'm just taking a medium grit zebra sanding band and just getting rid of any seepage, if you will. <laughs> feeling a long stiletto so I did take my tip clippers and just clip beneath the numbers that were on the tips to get a really nice either tapered square or coffin there's probably more like a coffin just buffing the shine off the tips I guess I could have used the tip primer but buffing is just as easy for me so I decided to do that instead After the nails have been cleansed, I go in with a silicone thin base. You don't need to do this step. I wasn't too sure how the product would last without a base coat underneath or not. I just, you can't go wrong with extra adhesion. <laughs> so the soft rose from the nail guard system, I decided to put that over top to give, cause I'm going to do a fade and I want a nice pink nail bed. Now you can use sheer veil from Magic Gel. That's a really nice rosy pink as well, but I didn't know I had sheer veil until the other day. Now when I'm new working with hard gel, the sheer veil I would probably gravitate towards more so than the soft rose because the nail guard is a soak off, I believe. And I am putting hard gel on top. So I didn't get any cracking from putting a hard gel on top of a soft gel. So that is good to know. I'm applying a very thin layer of Fusion's Robe Life and I will cure for 30 seconds, then go back in with a second layer just to get a nice opaque look. And I have to say, working with these Fusion colors, the Spring Collection, was so easy to work with. I was so impressed and it was fun to work with. So after I've cured this for a full 60 seconds, next I'm going in and just placing a thin layer on the tip of the nail and then I'm going to fade the color down. Now I use a dry ombre brush. When I get too much product on my ombre brush, I will wipe the brush off so it's dry again and I find I get a nicer fade that's not so blotchy looking. And then once I'm done with my fade, I will cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and then go in and do a second layer of this ombre look. Next, I'm gonna go in with Blue Lotus Limited Edition from Magic Gel, and I'm just going to spread this glitter around and fade it down towards the cuticle and cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp.
Then I will take diamond fiber and just paint a thin layer over top of this glitter just to encapsulate the glitter so it's not sticking up and lightly buff it. Now, if you have a thicker top coat, you can do the same thing. Instead of using a thicker viscosity builder gel, I wanted to stay within magic gel here and try the diamond fiber out again and see how it worked. So yeah, either or use a thicker top coat, buff and reapply your top coat or a clear gel to encapsulate. Then I'm going to spell my cat's name using the clear jelly stamper stamping plates and number two white stamping polish and see what I come up with. Next I'm going to use Ugly Duckling Stick It and apply some of these crystals on the ring finger. After curing the crystals in place for 60 seconds, I am going in with the Tackless Hyper Shine again and capping off all the stamping that I did. I love the Tackless Hyper Shine so much. It doesn't pit or separate and it is very shiny and very durable, I found. My clients come back with very shiny nails after three to four weeks. So here's the finished look. Two different designs, well not designs, but two different shapes. And I really liked these. I chose this color because it was soothing, even though this is kind of more like a boy color and Keela was a girl, but I quite liked having these nails on in her honor. If you haven't checked out Kathy's website, arnailsupply.com, check it out. She's got so many wonderful products on her website and she's even got a section for the DIYers, which I think is just fabulous. So check out her website. There's so many products on there that I didn't even know she had and things that I didn't even think that I could use in a nail art design like the water decals. Like it's a, it really is for me a one-stop shop. I don't have to go anywhere else because there's wipes, there's bits, there's magic gel, ugly duckling, <laughs> light elegance, uh, fusion, so so much and I know I've raved about this in past videos as well but I would really encourage you just to take a look at the website and see what it's all about. And as always, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, comment any questions, comment them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't know how quickly I'll get back to them, but I will do my best. I'm still kind of going through the emotions here, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys sooner rather than later. <laughs> Have a wonderful day everyone and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!